All right. Oh, <laughs> uh, what's up, guys? Flaming Geek here. About to um, start my broadcast on Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, which I'm super excited to play. Um, I like horror games because I don't scare very easily, actually. Lies. <laughs> I've got uh, Nick Bomb 9 here with me. And he's gonna, I guess, watch and partake on some of this. Feel free to comment and stuff. Um, I'm not gonna use face cam for this one because I want people to be engrossed by the <laughs> horror that's about to take place on screen here. <laughs> All right. I like, I can say from the main menu, I like that there's the uh, tape recorder because that's like traditional Resident Evil. So I'm excited to do some puzzles and stuff, which I've heard that the game does have those. Yeah, what's up guys? Flaming Geek here. Welcome to Resident Evil. <laughs> um, super excited to play this game. I'm just going to say, first of all, I turned off the camera wobble. I do get very nauseous very easily playing um, first person games. It takes me a while to get a little bit used to it. And especially since this is dark and you hold flashlights and stuff. I need it lower so I can play a little bit longer and stream a bit longer for you guys. Um, second of all, I am super excited to play this game. I've only ever played the first two Resident Evils. <laughs> Resident Evil is actually the first game that I ever played on PlayStation. Oh my gosh, way back when I was like 8 or 10 or something like that. I was super young at a friend's place because we weren't allowed to have gaming consoles. But anyways, it was a lot of fun. I like playing horror games. I like horror films and stuff. I don't scare very easily, so I'm hoping to get a little bit scared playing this game. I like also feeling stressed out <laughs> for, and the anxiety from like certain decisions that you have to make and like running away from characters. I think it's going to be pretty cool. So this game is first person, the first one of the Resident Evil franchise that is in first person. Just scare the doc too. And it's more like, uh, it's a survival game, which is cool, whereas all the other ones were kind of like action-based. So, six o'clock and let's get to it. So I won't be talking during any of the uh, cutscenes. I just wanted to send a quick hello and I love you. Oh, good news. I'm going to be coming home soon. Yay! <laughs> oh, I cannot wait to be done with this babysitting job and come home to my loving husband. I miss you. Oh, I, I gotta get back to work. I love you, Ethan. I miss you so much. I'm sending tons of kisses. Bye, baby. Ethan. You were right. 
I did lie to you. I shouldn't have. All I can say is that if you get this, stay away. Sweet. That seems like fun. Hey, it's, uh, it's Ethan. Oh, hey. You all right? You just disappeared the other night. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. It's Mia. She's not dead. She's alive. She, she's back. They found her? How? What happened? I don't know. Look, I, I don't know how, but she's back. She's back somehow. Maybe it's a prank. She wants me to come and get her. Where is she? Dolby. Dolby, Louisiana. I know, I know, but what if it is her? I have to find out what happened. Well, that's not a smart idea. When in doubt, just go look by yourself. Oh, here we are. Oh, man. This is the place. I love how it's always people's idea that, okay, I got a message from the loved one I'm looking for. I better go look for them myself. Because that is such a good idea. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> Find Mia. Oh man, that is not sketchy at all. Okay, I guess it's locked. Oh man, this does not look good. Uh, I guess follow the fence. This look like someone's having a picnic. Sewer gators. Oh. Join us. That's the moment where you go, I'm going to go call the cops. I just don't understand. Why do you why do you think it's a good idea to go check this out by yourself? Is there anything else here? Um, FYI guys, so when I play games like these, where you have to explore that can't be good. I like to look around at everything, see if I can find stuff. People make fun of me for like being one of those people. Accept her gift. It's getting sketchier. Ugh, gross. There's a body nearby. Who, 
Oh my gosh, who's that? How do you crouch? Okay. Oh gosh, guys, my heart's already beating. <laughs> Gotta hand it to the people who create games like these. Wonder if there's anything down here? Invisible wall! Shit. And that guy's gone too. What? Oh, gross. It's like... Cow. It's a cow? Oh man, that's disgusting. It smells so bad. No wonder there's flies everywhere. If there's anything else. Oh! do this. Oh, of course he goes through. Come on, man. Just turn around. You don't need to be there. She's not worth it. So I want to buy new headphones for- oh no. Stay away, you don't need to go down here. Uh, why? Uh, I like the detail I can say from that. Oh. Oh no. I wonder if there's anything else in here? No. Oh gosh. And the sun looks like it's setting. And it's burnt. Oh. Gosh, man, just call the police and go investigate. Huh. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna go check back here first before I go in. <laughs> See if there's anything else. Is anything over here? <sighs> All right, Ethan, let's go check over here. fuck was that? Oh my god, this is a big house. Oh, I have to go in. <gasps> my heartbeat is already going. Like, this is gonna be so much fun. Alright, guys. Let's do this. It's just like, I think it's gonna be like Bioshock. 